Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Reviews. And today you join us at JD Classics in Essex and this is their 65,000 square foot area in Chelmsford. So what's so special about JD Classics? Let's get into it. So JD Classics tagline is that they specialize in sourcing, restoring and maintaining the most significant road and race cars in the world. What does that entail? So you can break JD Classics down into restorative work, sales and they're moving into storage as well and we'll talk a little bit about those particular departments. So first of all let's talk about restoration. Now restoration is the main key focus for JD Classics. While I'm providing you some details about the restoration I want to give a walk around so you can see the expanse of this work floor because on camera I'm sure it doesn't come across so if I walk around a bit more you'll be able to see this is 65,000 square foot location in Chelmsford. This is impressive. <laughs> this is actually the restorative area. So this is where, this is their main key um, car engineering area. So you can see all the different lifts for all the different vehicles. And just a quickly float around to these different cars. Obviously you've got a substantial amount of E-types and Mercs. So here you've got a 575M. Next to that, you've got a, a 328. Next to that, you've got a 308. These cars have gone through various different levels of restoration. This is a near mint 328 GTS. And this is um, a, a pretty much near Mint 308 as well. It's still got some, uh, some um, engineering work that's being performed on at the moment. So we pick out some of these cars, some of the ones that have uh, some very early, very historical lineage. And we'll focus on those cars as individual videos going forward. And we'll talk about those cars from their earlier lineage all the way forwards to their end restored state. So moving down here, one of the key and one of the biggest panels, if not the biggest panel on any e type is the front bonnet. And this front bonnet section is actually in three major panel sections. These are incredibly expensive and these are always restored. Um, don't know if you can actually get these fabricated from scratch now. I know that uh, JD Classics actually fabricate a lot of their panels or additional panel sections themselves internally. And to provide you some detail on that, we're just going to quickly walk into their fabrication area so you can see that detail. So all the restoration work is performed in-house. That is a big thing and I cannot emphasize that enough. Very little is outsourced. So the only things that they outsource is, is things like chromium plating and such like. Panel beating, fabrication, all that is managed internally. If we go in here, you can even see they have their own sandblasting areas and their own cleaning areas. At the moment, this has been temporarily closed down, but this is that have all their cleaning products here and all their, all their tools to be able to clean all different sections of engineering components of their cars that they're restoring. And if we move around in here, another sandblasting area, as you can see. And this, this sandblasting area is separated and for alloy components over because they don't want to cause cross contamination between um, aluminium parts and the metal counterparts. Because if you get metal particles in aluminium elements, then you get cross contamination and you get oxidization in the aluminium. So you've got to be very careful there. And they manage that by segregating the sandblasting of those two materials in totally different rooms. So as we walk through to the engineering area, I just want to give you again a perception of the square footage here and the sort of work that they perform. Again, JD Classics perform all end-to-end -end restoration work. So you can see here you've got shells of E-types, um, you've got a, a front, front bonnet section of an E-type there. That's, that's a front bonnet section that's actually built in fiberglass and that is going to be used for marketing so that's probably going to be hung on the wall to market and advertise JD Classics. This is um, a 930 turbo. We're probably gonna do uh, a, a video in total isolation on this 930 turbo, talking about its full lineage because there's a lot of heritage behind this 930 turbo. As we quickly walk through this section, as we lead you into the engineering department, that's Ronnie Woods. So that's Ronnie Woods, Mercedes. We can't talk in detail about that at the moment. Here you can see an E-type in its engineering, in its restorative process with regards to the, the bodywork. And you can see the sort of work that these guys perform with regards to fabricating new panels to overcome rust. Now, if a lot of people don't realize that E-types 
were inherently engineered to be rusty in a way. When E-types were first developed, they were undersold. And by that, I mean that they didn't really charge enough for them. Now, Jaguar realized this later on and they started to cut a lot of costs. And one of the areas, unfortunately, that they cut costs was in metal proofing and in rust proofing. So that's, it's not uncommon for E-types and pretty much all E-types have gone through some form of restoration if they're in good condition because they rot like hell because of those corners that were cut. So as we walk through the engineering area here, this is one of the main panel fabrication areas. So you can see here, this is where you actually roll and create shaped materials, shaped, and you shape your metal such like, so you can curve it to fit particular curved surfaces. Just put that down carefully. We've got all sorts of old style machining, like guillotines, small, small guillotines here. And if we move along here, you've got a very large guillotine here. You've got an, an angle bending machine here that bends metal. Um, obviously you've got all this leverage point here to be able to um, bend quite large substantial panels. You've got saw machine there. And you've got various other different um, welding machines. You've got work surfaces here. And you've got um, pillar drills here and you've got another little angle press there. So what I'm trying to get across, guys, is that this is evidencing that they perform their own restorative work. This is old style engineering. It doesn't get much better than this. Again, moving into another section of the engineering department within JD Classics. You've got the materials here that they use, raw materials, which they fashion into particular different aspects as they need to when they, when they create bespoke parts. You've got cutting machines, pillar drilling machines, You've got mill machines, milling machines, and you've got lathes. So this is old star engineering. This is how we used to build these components years ago. Um, now this is, this is personal skill sets. So getting back on the resources, JD Classics is around 60 specialized craftsmen who work in performing all this restorative process and, all this, and providing all this engineering capability. That's a substantial skill set, guys. So we're just coming through now into the sales section of JD Classics. And first of all, we'll pick up on these Cooper S's. Now these are very important and a lot of legacy history behind these Cooper S's. We're gonna hit these Cooper S's in detail in a separate video, but we'll just focus on one of these. This is actually Peter Sellers. Yes, the classic Inspector Clouseau from the Pink Panther films actor. This is his actual mini Cooper S. Incredibly styled and and specced in this um, deep brown color with gold roof. So two-tone coloring and this beige interior. This is original. This is Peter Sellers' actual Mini Cooper S. And you can see it's even got an old tax date on there of February, 1973. And if we flick around again, we come forward into uh, another sales area marketing their cars for sale. And you can see here we've got a modern 360 or modern-ish with respect to the, to the classic cars that they have here. This is the 360. And here we have, what's this? 458 Italia guys. So this is in great condition, very highly specced. And it's in, it's in metallic Nero with a black Nero interior with carbon racing seats. And we're probably gonna cover off this car in more detail as well. I believe this car is actually for sale at the moment too. The sort of quality and capability that JD Classics have is that they have presented their prestige restoration vehicles at such concourse as Pebble Beach and Salon Privé with wins in those classifications. That is impressive. Anybody who knows the car fraternity will know that Pebble Beach and Salon Privé are some of the biggest, if not the biggest, concourse events in the world. So in addition to restoration and sales, JD Classics also are providing car storage in the future. Now this is the initial storage area that they have, so obviously it's quite small, but they're looking to build this out in the future, adding certain mezzanines and storage locations up at different tiers within this building. As you can see here, we've got some classics that are stored here at the moment. We've got one of the old style Beatles in this in interesting um, beautiful olive green color, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And as we come to the back, we've got this um, fantastic Jaguar. Um, and if you just listen to the engine, it's astonishing. This is one of the early um, V12 injection engines. Not quite sure what the brake horsepower on this, obviously with regards its size, it's not gonna be as, as high a brake horsepower as you would get in a modern engine, purely because of engineering progressing forwards into the modern era. 
To the right hand side, we have a Gallardo Performante. This is, you know, as many people will know with regards to Lamborghini, they're well known for, uh, let's say, pushing the envelope with regards to the different models that they produce. So when they develop a chassis, they pretty much uh, eke out as much as they can from all the different chassis that they provide. So this is a Performante, which is one of the latest versions of the Gallardo on this chassis base before they ended the, the production run for the Gallardo. As we move to the side here, I'm just gonna quickly show you their trim shop. Now this is like an atelier section. They've designed this in such a way where um, they, can, they can market and advertise to the customers that come in um, so they can see where their cars are gonna be re-upholstered and the different types of fabrics that they can use and the different materials that they're gonna use, even to the point of showing the different types of threads. So here you can see the different fabric types, so the different leather colors, and you can see the different carpet colors there and the different carpet types and the different thread layers. And here you can see some seats in part of the, some old style seats in part restoration. And on the walls, a la Ferrari Italia styling, you can see they've got some of the actual fabrics on the wall as well. This is a great approach because this is marketing the company to would-be customers as they come in. So we, when people come in and they're looking at getting their cars restored, it's good to be able to bring them in, into this area so they can see the type of fabrics that are gonna be used and the type of um, engineering effort that's gonna go into restoring their vehicle. So we're gonna close out the initial coverage of JD Classics here at Chelmsford. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, very important for the channel. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Very important for us. We have over 93% of our viewers that aren't subscribed at the moment. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll provide the details for JD Classics in the description below. Take care, guys. Catch you in the next video.